Shoo! What's going on, folks? All right, change of pace here. We are not going to be doing anything with the house today. Well, we actually are. Take that back. I am. Jake is. But uh, we got two more beefcake construction workers that are going to be helping get some of this situation figured out here. Because this, see the road's all wonky? No matter how much rock we add, it keeps getting wonky because of the water that comes from the road in the hill in the field comes here. So we got to put a drain in, like starting here all the way down there, we got to get a drain. So we've got Cade, who's a heavy equipment operator. He's going to be in the mini. And we got Mark, he's right there. He's got, he fell down on some ice and hurt his shoulder. And so I was like, perfect, you can go work the, the equipment today. I don't want you hurting your shoulder. Jake and I can go help do some home remodeling, which was the flip. Jake and I were going to do this and they were going to go do that. So I was like, well, we got a heavy equipment operator and somebody with a injured shoulder. What better opportunity than to put them in some equipment. They can sit in the nice heated cabs because it is cold out here today. And then we're gonna be working in the house. So we will be jumping in and out of this video and helping them shoot grade and level it and, and whatever. But like I said, there's a good chunk of it's not gonna include me, but they're gonna get the job done. So they're getting the mini going, they're getting the skid going. We have to basically dig a trench all the way down this road, all the way to here. So that way with it rain, snow, melts, thaws, whatever, the rain comes down, hits the drain, and then shoots out. We built one of these already in my old house, the one I sold, and it worked flawless, okay? And of course, everyone's sure for me that we did it wrong, but it hasn't broken. I mean, it drains water like a freaking champ. So we're gonna try to do the same thing, except the only difference is, this one's gonna be like 250 feet long, versus the one we did at the old house was like, 100 or like 80 so this is going to be a bigger ordeal we may not get it done in one day but we got enough guys like so we have two two full-time operators that are going to be sitting here digging trench in. then we got to get in some screened rock kind of like this stuff that's nice and clean dump it in the trench and level it leveling it meaning still drain it that way and then we got to lay in some pipe that's got perforated holes in it and then we got to fill it full of rock so people can still drive over it and nothing will break basically just putting in like a gutter like a gutter on your house just a 250 foot gutter is basically all this is because we came to the conclusion that it doesn't matter how much rock you add, it just gets washed away when the snow melts and it rains and stuff like that. So we're gonna throw, throw some GoPros on these guys, some cameras on these guys, give them some headsets so they can talk to one another and we are gonna get to digging. So stay tuned.
Mr. Beefcake here, ready to take over. So Mark is going to take the truck and the trailer, and he's actually going to go get some pipe. And Cade, you're the grade checker expert on duty. So he's going to be checking our grade. I'm going to jump in the minion, absolutely ruin everything Cade just did. And then Jake's going to be oh, in the yeah? old skiddy. He's, he's going to get after it in the skiddy. Uh, trying to, you got to build me a nice ramp over there. Where are we building a ramp? There, you mean, should I show you? I know where we're going. Okay, I, I'll show you. So Mark already got us started. Um, it's a good and a bad thing. It's frozen today. It's good because um, we're not slopping around, tearing up this road any more than it needs to. It's not good because now we're digging up frost and it's taking a while. We are, yeesh, not even, uh, not even, um, I bet we're about a fifth of the way. So that was two hours of work. Oh, I see. So we're building a nice ramp here because this flat area we want to utilize once I live here. By the way, for perspective, there's the shop and there's the old house right there. So this is going to be, we're going to yank all these trees out. You got a dog kennel back here? You've never seen this? No. That's where they kept the kids. There's a bunch of like mattresses in there. Really? Oh yeah. Really? Oh yeah, we found those two years ago when we bought oh, this place. Oh, I didn't know that was there. Yeah, no, they, they had mattresses in there, like for sure kids in the cage. Yikes. Anyways, um, so this is what Mark's building. So we're just, we're trying to make it not so steep. Yeah. He's got it good here. It I would just start pushing, pushing, pushing more dirt there and basically fill in this area. That way we're thinking park some trailers. We'll clean all this up probably this summer. Um, but since we're hauling the dirt out of here, I figured this would be a good place to put it. So anyways, that's where your ramp needs to be. Got it. In case you're curious. So, all right, let's get back to digging. Yeehaw, brother. Okie dokie. Woo. What he's got it hot in here. Yeah. Wait. Was he bumping? Oh yeah, there is a pretty good glare. Cade was saying there's a nice glare. Oh, hey, how you doing, Frost? Oh. Oh yeah, should I just open her? Open it and let the heat blast? He's gonna be like, what in the heck? I didn't know I could do that.
all this stuff in the hole anyways and then re-scoop it, so no sense in trying to grade if I'm just going to fill the hole again. Alright, you can probably run that. So we have been doing this now for five hours. It started about nine. Five hours and we got the first 100 plus feet done. I think it's like 110 right now. And we're doing about, I don't know, I would say a, a foot every few minutes. Once we get going, it, you can hear the squeak. Yeah, our grease gun broke, we'll calm down. But it's taking a while. Yeah, what would that be? 100 feet and how feet. many minutes? It's five hours plus a lunch break. Two, four hours. Yeah. Four hours. How many? 60, 120, 240 and we did about 120. So we're doing a foot every two minutes. That's not bad. Horrible. And it's frozen. I said that the problem was this morning, 
this thing was completely frozen. And so we had to be chipping away at all that. So anyways, there it is. You can see the trench goes down. And what was the taper? Was it an inch every 15 feet? Roughly it's an inch every 10 to 15 feet. 10 to 15. Yeah. It's a drop, that's the slope. So it goes all the way here and we made it there. Now we're kind of hanging it up just so people don't drive across it as much and then we got to go and then we're probably gonna have to wrap it down that road. Um, but Mark went and picked up some piping. So this is what we're using. So this is the perforated stuff. So perforated, it's got the little slits in it to let water seep into it. And then that back one is solid. So the back one will be basically like a, a gutter drain. And then these two will have the actual perforation. So what we're gonna do now is we got a dump truck full of rock. We have to line the bottom of it with a thin coat just to make sure that the pipe stays where it needs to go and then cover it in rock and then we're done and connect the two pieces well three pieces in total and just keep trenching so we're going to start running two crews now we're going to have a crew doing this uh-oh we got workers mark you want to do my need to tell them on the old headset back it up terry mark we got a car coming back it up it. and so we're going to run two crews keep trenching because we got another 200 feet to go and then the, the other crew can lay the first 100 feet with the rock make sure it's level lay the pipe connect it and we will have 100 feet of pipe done like i said in about four hours and uh and we connect them together and we should never have to worry about this see the issues so we've got all these nice workers that are working hard to get my main house done they just don't drive in the ditch there it is these, these guys he don't care see we got that's why we got to fill him with rock because uh we don't need him going into the into the ditch but all that slop is coming from the water up here where that snow is melting we're going to fix that so Let's fill this dish with some rock and some pipes. Stay tuned.
Keep pulling.
that's what eight hours of digging frost looks like. We got her just about done did. We got her all the way down there. Look at that. Started all the way by them pickups down there. Come all the way down with the slope, but it was completely frozen. So this is a, that's the stuff we're trying to avoid is the water settling. And so Mark was a skid loader operator. He's a freaking unit now and uh, took all this dirt and check this new road we got out. This thing looks awesome. So this slopes out nicely, grades out, grades out. So we should be able to pull trailers and we'll keep adding to if we need a little bit more. We can kind of try picking it up, but it's, it's good and nice and wide. We can pull some of these posts out if we want. And that way we can come and go with trucks and trailers and it not be nearly as steep. And we'll rock it, of course, because why not? At this point, it should buy a rock quarry because we're putting down hundreds of dump trucks worth. Well, so we'll keep doing it. But we uh, we're running out of daylight and <clears throat> the ground that we need to go to keep digging to then shoot it into that ditch is completely frozen. And so now we need to wait over the weekend, let it thaw out. Um, we shouldn't have to worry about people driving their car in there, which would be bad because it's the weekend. No one really works the weekend out here. So one pipe of three were installed and we're at a rock, which rock won't get delivered till Monday. So we need rock to come in, lay more and more pipe, cover and rock, lay more pipe, cover that one in dirt because it's not perforated and basically just run, run the gutter into the ditch. And we should never have this ever again. This will never happen again. Mark my words, the world's deepest, most overbuilt French drain you ever darn did see beef cat construction so we'll see you guys on monday get this sucker wrapped up stay tuned Shoo! all right next day folks here we go it is time to finish our 250 foot trench i think it's gonna end up being about that long at least maybe maybe actually by the time we're done maybe 300 like a football field so we got our first load of rock here so now we can finally kind of get started so what the plan is now is what we've pretty much already done but we need to go through and pack the bottom there's a few whoopies it's not bad it's dang it's dang close but there's you know there's a clump there so we've got to make sure we don't want our pipe hitting any bumps and lumps so we'll go through make sure it's nice and smooth and then we'll add that you know inch to two inch layer of rock ideally we should probably be adding more and we always could but i want to make sure that this thing is buried as deep as possible so that way if anyone drives over it it doesn't get crushed um, but the having it raised up the bottom will let kind of that sediment the dirt and stuff kind of go down and not clog through the pipe um, like i said you maybe normally want three or four inches but again i think we'll be we'll be okay i mean we probably are putting three or four inches by the time you stack two of them little pebbles um so anyways we'll put down the base layer and then we're gonna throw another 100 feet of the perforated pipe uh in there and then we'll probably connect another 50 feet to make that bend and then i'll finish trenching and we'll add in the non-perforated so basically a gutter and trench the rest of that lay the rest of it and that can just be covered in dirt because there's no holes and whatnot so by the end of today we should have a 250 to 300 foot french drain to prevent all that water from that hill come across and then we're gonna have the rock guy bring two more like that and we are going to rock the road that we built right there and then rock the rest of this road so finally i don't have to keep putting down rock because it then just gets washed away today should be the final day and tomorrow's is thunderstorms so tomorrow we will know if this thing flows north or if it pools up and we just created a 300 foot dam that'll then wash away my road so you guys stay tuned <laughs>
Oh, who put the mini down in the ditch? Debbie, a boy. I love getting stuff stuck. So, uh, yeah, she's not, she ain't going nowhere. She's, uh, she's stuck there real nice, like. Um, I was looking at this dry dirt, though. Either dry dirt or rock. One of the two. Because I was looking at all this dirt going, man, if I just, if I built myself a road of dry dirt, you'd probably be all right. But. Gets rid of our ditch, though. It, that's, yeah, we need more dirt somewhere. <laughs> we, so, someone else get me a mini. Let's go rent a mini to thing. dig it. Oh, sh dude. You got that thing down there. That was the scariest. Maybe we got a rescue mission. That was the scariest. Uh, mini. It don't, probably don't look bad on camera. No, it doesn't it look bad at all. But it's, dude, that's, like, I'll tell you what. Right now, if I lifted my my blade and i swung my boom i would go head over heels into that ditch right now yeah behind that little brush pile it goes yeah 20 foot drop downhill <laughs> so i got her down in there but you can see our pipe it took us a day and a half you can see it's getting dark pipe exits right there perfectly the gray drops all i mean we would have what part which pipe did we cut you didn't cut the second perforated did you yes i did i cut about cut some off of that 10 feet, 10 feet off of it so it was only it was 200 another 100 to here yeah. and you cut 10 off yeah. And then this was maybe another 50 or 60. Yeah. So 100 to almost 200. It's probably 250 then by the oh, time. Easily. Yeah. I say 250. 250. 250 feet. And we dug it probably, we probably did it the hardest way possible, which is taking a mini excavator in the frost when there's, you know, at least seven inches of frost, digging all the way down, making sure the pipe is 18 inches below. That's supposed to be like the code, okay? Um, and then we put a few thousand dollars of rock on top of it. Um, we filled the entire ditch with rock. Some guys will just put rock beneath, put rock on top, and then fill it with dirt. I'm just paranoid, okay? Because this took almost two days. All of our equipment got all muddy. Like, we burned so much money. I'm like, just put in a little extra money and rock it. If any water gets on that road, oh yeah, no, I'm, I say I'm, I'm covered. If any rock gets on this, or any water gets on this road, I will be absolutely shocked. Because right beneath us is a three foot deep trench. That goes all, it wraps all the way around. So any water from the neighbor, if the neighbor wants to water their grass, it's a cornfield, but you get it. Uh, it'll go into this. So this all needs shaping up and sloping up, but I'm hungry, I wanna go home. So it goes all, literally all the way back by the house. We trenched her through. So this is what, here's what we're trying to avoid is this. So far it's working, we built a dam already. Cause that is what was ruining our road. It was just sit and sit, so that's, in there. We dammed it up a little bit, but a little there it is. Yeah, fill the pipe. Yeah, yeah, fill that pipe. Let's oh, let's go. That works. Wow, that is actually worked pretty good. It actually works. Yeah. <laughs> so it's, it's going to take an insane amount of water to fill it before you would ever see it come out, like a ton. But this road's all tore up. We spread some more rock. We got three dump trucks. Well, four in total. Four dump trucks. Filled it. We got to re. Now we got to re-rock the road hopefully for the final time. So far we've re-rocked this road five times and each time is about a grand. So yeah, just, just for these little pebbles, for some reason these just cost an arm and a leg nowadays. So um, we'll re-rock it one more time. That way the workers can get in and out to the main house. But we got our French drain prepping because that's not gonna be the last one I can tell you right now, okay? We need one behind the shop. We need one on the side of the shops. More than likely we're gonna need one by the retaining, I mean, Yee! If you guys have a better way of building one of these, you have to let me know. But see, you can see all the standing water, standing water, standing water, all that standing water. It's coming from that hill right there. It's going to hit this rock, sink down, shoot out, and we will be in business. Hopefully, no more washouts on the road, and we will be good to go. Let us know. Again, is there an easier way to build this? I'm sure there is, because there's no way everybody just spends like three days and five grand to put on a little drain around their yard. There's got to be an easier way. I YouTubed it. This is what everybody did. I just don't think most people put 250 feet of it. That's the biggest thing. And we put fabric down for the last 150 feet of it. I'll let you know if it was worth it or not. I don't think you need the fabric, to be honest with you. So anyways, hope you guys enjoyed today's video. We'll catch you in peace.